Hi. Hi everyone. G Daddy people, this is Sharpino here and I am very proud today to be celebrating the first, I'd say the first year of CGS064 slash Sharpino, the Pokemon Poketubing side of this channel. So first and foremost, I want to say that I thank you to those who have been supporting this channel from the get-go. I do appreciate it. Uh, for those who continually watch the videos, I thank you. For those who talk to me on Skype, on Facebook, on Twitter, everything else that like the videos, I thank you. For those who actually generally like my channel, I say thank you. So, what I've done today is I've done, this is a one year special, so I'm doing a Q&A and a giveaway. So, I thought I would go ahead and ask you guys, I've asked you guys some questions uh, that if you guys had some questions about what I've done or things about me you guys want to ask or whatever um, to go ahead, send it to me on Facebook or on Twitter and I would answer it in this vlog. So again, this is all about you guys saying, I'm personally saying for me to you, thank you for one year of Pokertubing, thank you for your support. So first question off the bat, is sent in by at the ver 29 which you guys know is my uh, versus uh, opponent. Uh, what has been your favorite Let's Play to play through? So, I honestly, okay, playing through the game, I think playing Diamond Shotlock was actually one of my favorites just because, you know, you're having alcohol and you're playing Diamond and, you know, again, the Dialga, I definitely thought, I would say, enhanced the experience. Um, so I definitely would say Diamond Shot would definitely be my favourite. My favourite Let's Play to look back on, so if I was to watch one of my old series, well I mean it could be Shotlock as well, but I actually like watching my Insurgents Let's Play, just because of all the, the decks and everything else. So, my favourite Let's Play to play through would be my Diamond Shotlock, but then my favourite Let's Play to watch back on would probably be my Insurgents Let's Play. <clears throat> Next question sent in by SuperLM123 says, are you doing anything special for Sun and Moon? Well, when the game comes here, I will definitely do a general Let's Play on my channel. Uh, that's a definite. The only problem I have, and this is the only problem I have being Australian in here, even Europeans feel the same fate, is that the Americans will get access to it before we do. So, I can't, there's no control I have over that, other than the fact that if I ordered the game for America to be sent, even then, I still wouldn't be able to get it. Like, You'll have all the American YouTubers already posting out, you know, the first pass of the game. By the time I start, everyone's like, yeah, we've already seen that, move along. But I'm still going to do it anyway. So, I'm going to still do the Let's Play, so when Sun Moon comes out, more likely I'll do Moon, because, you know, I'm just a Sun Moon kind of, I'm just a Moon kind of guy, hashtag Team Moon. So, that's definitely what I'm going to do. Now, as far as anything particular about Sun and Moon, um, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll just see how it goes. Uh, next question, now these are Facebook questions, uh, this Facebook question was presented by Jesse McCormick uh, who asked, uh, how long did it take for your 3DS to come back to you with a capture card? So I actually ordered my, uh, I ordered the 3DS with a capture card last year back in, I'd say February last year in 2015 and it took about a good four to five months for me to get it from Katsu Kitty and it cost me like 500 and $80 Australian, which I mean to American money that would be like uh, about 500 maybe less dollars American US dollars So it definitely was a big chunk in my pocket But I mean I've been able to do a lot of let's plays because of it, you know, like my X and Y let's plays um, After Sapphire, um, I haven't actually played Omega Ruby which could be something that could happen the next year with some sort of special rule, maybe a wonder lock before Sun and Moon comes out, just maybe, but we'll just see how things go there. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of people having issues with Katsu Kitty, and I can't personally say I've had problems with Katsu Kitty, so I mean, when I hear people say bad things about Katsu Kitty, I mean, I can't say that I agree with you because my experience with Katsu Kitty was it was a four to five month wait. I think that's what they go for at this rate, but now Loopy is doing uh, 3DS capture cards as well, and a lot of people have been going over to uh, Loopy for um, obviously capture card servicing, but uh, again, I, I don't know, but I mean, it's something that could happen in the future. I mean, if capture key is going downhill and Loopy's on the rise, maybe I might get it from Loopy, but you never know. Uh, next question comes in from Javier Boswell that says, 
what editing software do you use for your video? This is actually a common question I get quite a bit, but I never actually discuss. I think I've only said about it once or twice in a year, but um, I actually use a combination of Movie Maker and Lightworks. And I'll explain to you guys how I edit my videos. So what I do is, when I record off OBS, they are such a huge file that Lightworks, which is the editing program I use, cannot uh, use it. So what I do is, I, um, I take it, put it onto Movie Maker to compress the file and then put it onto editing software. Now what I've actually realized was during this, the sweet Nuzlocke is that I can actually uh, put the, uh, the layout over the top of the video and it'll actually come up a bit clearer because Movie Maker by compressing it though can distort the color sometimes of the layout. So I actually put the layout over the top in my editor software and then um, you know I just edit with Lightworks to, to piece everything together, put my face up in there because I record with a video camera, not with a webcam. Um, and yeah, and it works out pretty well. The rendering and everything else is pretty standard. I mean, obviously, you know, non-mainstream Pokemon series would be a bit easier to edit than uh, mainstream because you're always just editing for Pokemon pics and everything else. But other than that though, I've had no real issues with Lightworks. Lightworks has been pretty good for me. Um, I use OBS to record my games. Um, now I know there's OBS Studios, but I've just kept it with the original OBS broadcasting system. And I've honestly had no issues with OBS, other than a few, uh, uh, what was it? I think when I first started using it, there was a few corrupted files. But what I've noticed is it will only happen if I run out of space in my computer. So what I'll do is I'll record a few videos and then I'll just try to make sure I leave enough space in my computer for recording. Because if the computer runs out of space during the course of the recording, it will just corrupt the file because it cannot hold any more memory. So I know now just to keep my computer clear for recordings, which is why I have hard drives. I have two hard drives, um, and I put all my stuff on there in case I need to make space for recordings, and I haven't edited the videos. That's just how I do things. Uh, next question, now this is a bit of a troll question, but you know what, I'm gonna answer it anyway. Uh, so a question from Steve uh, Geikas that says, Magnemite, how do they work? Now finally enough, I actually answered back to him on this question, and I said electromagnetism. That's how it works. So, you know, Steve, I'll give you troll of the comments section for that one. But you know what? I'll ask the question either way because I'm all for a good laugh and everything else. Now, it's probably being smart, but he probably wasn't expecting me to answer that one. So, there you go. All right, now, what I've done is, since I've only got five questions from you guys, I thought I would go ahead and give you five questions to ask myself to answer to you guys. So, uh, my question I've asked myself is, uh, where do you hope to see this channel next year? Well, Right now, we have nearly 250 subscribers, which is good for first year. I'm not complaining about that. Now, I don't know if we'll hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but I would hope by the next year, in year two, we would hit 1,000 subscribers. But everything's different. Like, this is what I want you guys to understand. I don't care if my videos get one view, 10 views, 100 views, 1,000 views, 10,000 views, 100,000 views. I mean, look, it's obviously better if there's more views on it, but I personally don't care. I love making videos and putting them on YouTube. Now, whether you guys want to watch it and everything else, that's an entirely different thing. I have no control over that, but I just love to make videos and put them on YouTube. Now, if you guys are interested in watching the videos, then that is better for you and it's better for me. So it works out for the both of us. So by me providing the content, you enjoy the content, and then I get feedback from you guys from you guys enjoying it and seeing what you guys like and what you guys don't like. So like I said, if you guys have any constructive criticism, that's why I always ask you guys to leave it in the comment section or talk to me on Twitter and Facebook, and I actually will take in any constructive criticism that you have, truthfully. But again, if it's nothing that's going to be beneficial or helpful in any way, I'm just not, to, I'm not going to acknowledge it. Now, the next question I'm gonna ask myself is what kind of Let's Plays can you expect to see in the next year? So as you guys would see, I've only played one fan game that was um, Insurgents. I would say in this next year, I would definitely say that you'll be seeing some more fan games being done. Also, a lot of people have been talking about side games, so uh, games like you know Super Mystery Dungeon and uh, Pokemon Conquest and everything else. Um, I actually have a plan that my next Let's Play after this current Let's Play that I will be playing a side game. Now, I'm not going to say which side game I'm doing, but I thought I would go ahead and try something different because I understand that some people do get bored by the mainstream game all the time. Like, I know I could put different spin-offs on the Nuzlocke with rules and everything else, but everyone starts to get a little bit bored of the normal game, which is why playing a side game or a fan game might just spice things up a bit, because, you know, you see Ruby Sapphire or, like, you know, Emerald or 
freaking just just the same old game. You're like, yeah, it's okay, but it's you know what? So I think uh, what I'll try to do this next year is try to be a bit more innovative and try some play some more fan games, play some more ROM hacks, and maybe some side games that you know that not necessarily the mainstream game, but they're just mergers. So kind of like Sweet Nuzlocke, where it's a ROM hack, but it's like a I would say it's a, I mean it is a mainstream game. It's a rip off Firebird, but I'm saying games like I would say um, you know. Uh, Mystery Dungeon, I think, is a good example because Mystery Dungeon obviously is the Pokemon game, but it's just a different set of rules, different storyline, and everything else. So that's just one example. But I'm not saying that my next play is, is a Mystery Dungeon game, but it could be. You don't know, but you'll eventually find that out after this series finishes and when I do the Let's Play review. But also, I'm not going to announce what the next game is. That's that's another thing I'm going to change as well. When I do a review of the Let's Play and just to see how things are going and everything else. I'm not going to say what my next let's play is. I want to actually surprise you guys. Because if I tell you guys in the review what's going to be, you know, you guys are like, oh, yeah, yeah, and it, it takes away the whole surprise factor. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to actually just put out the, the next series, and you guys will hopefully be pleasantly surprised. And let's see how that works. Uh, question number eight, battles. Will there be more battling? Um... I, like I said, I'm not a big battler, but I mean, I, I participated in the PMC, which uh, honestly was probably the best experience I've had battling, even though it's my first experience. We tried doing the GPPL and the PCL, but they both bombed out. And I do apologize, like, it's not, it's, I had no control over that. Like, the group itself just became inactive and the, 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 tech, the group just fell apart. I had no control over that. The PMC is surprisingly doing very well and I'm uh, looking forward to season two. Some of us have been planning for our season two uh, drafts and everything else. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really thought about it, but PMC seems to be the one league that I'm really consistent with. Like I would probably just stick with the PMC for now. Like if you guys wanna see some more battling, unless I get a, a, a outrageous you know, demand from you guys to do more battling, I'm just gonna keep making this Let's Plays and everything else just because I mean, I can battle, but I just, I'm not a big fan of battling. Like, I just think there's just too much into battling. Like, I'll do it if you guys ask for it, but there's just, for me personally, my channel, I just want to make it a Let's Play channel. That's just how I am. I mean, I might do something battle-like, like showdown sessions or whatever, but that's just a maybe. I'm not saying that's going to be 100% definite, but um, it's definitely something I can do, but I'll only do that if you guys ask for it. That's what I'm going to say. If I don't get a great response for it, then I'm going to keep doing it as I see fit. Because again, this is my channel, but I want to share it with you guys. I want to share you guys, me. This is all me I'm putting on the channel. Uh, question number nine that I'm going to ask myself is Twitch streams. Where are they? So as you guys know, I did announce a few vlogs ago that I was going to start doing Twitch streams. And to this day, I've only done a total of two Twitch streams. Shiny hunting on uh, Pokemon Sweet. Um, again, a lot of things have been happening going with work and family and all this bullshit. So honestly, I, um, you know, I, 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 there's not much I can say that other than, uh, you know, like, I can only do so much. Like, I, I mean, I could try to do Twitch streams, but Australian internet is garbage. Let me just put it this way. Trying to stream with instant Australian internet is absolute trash. Like, I even tried doing the speed test and everything, and it was, like, obscenely slow. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to try to do more Twitch streams, but we'll just see how it goes. If I get more time to myself and just do this more full-time, maybe. But I'm not making any promises. Um, but occasionally if I jump on Twitch and you see the notice on my YouTube channel Twitter, then by all means jump in, say hello and all that, and we'll just see how things go. And the last thing is, and I'll leave this question for you guys. So this is not a question of me asking myself. I'm actually going to ask you guys this. Is is there anything that you would like to see on the channel? Like, I guess that's what I've been trying to ask you guys throughout the entire vlog here. It's just, you know, what do you want to see on this channel that would kind of influence you to stick around, influence you to watch the videos? You know, because at the end of the day, you know, I value your input. As long as, like I said, it is constructive and beneficial. Not stupid, trolly, and just stupid. So, you know, that's just how it is. Now we've come to the segment where I'm going to announce the giveaway here. So. As you guys all know, I personally love Gen 5. I love Gen 5. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and gone to the shops and I've actually bought some DVDs. Now, I don't know how this is going to go as far as you know, national and all that, but I have bought some DVDs. So we've got here Black and White Collection 1 and 2. The originals, this is the, the original first uh, season of Black and White in English. 
Then we have the next two, which is Black and White Avengers Nova, uh, Collection 1 and 2. And then we have Season 15, Rival Destinies, which I think is the next part of that. Now, I don't have the complete Gen 5 uh, cartoon, but I do have uh, three different sets. And then I have X and Y Collection 1. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and give these DVDs to one random subscriber in my subscribers. So what I'm going to ask you guys is if you have not subscribed and you want a chance to win these DVDs, go ahead and subscribe. I will pick a subscriber at random. I'll, I'll wait about a good month or so. And then within a month, I will pick a random subscriber, announce the winner in the vlog. And I will send this out to you guys. I will reach out to you guys, ask for your details. And I will send these DVDs out to you guys. Just to personally just say thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the videos, and thank you for being there for me. Like, I'm pretty happy that we're on the verge of 250 subscribers, which I'm pretty happy about. And, like I said, I can only hope that we grow from here. But like I said, I personally don't care if my videos don't get a lot of views. I really don't. I just love putting videos out there. And I mean, if you want to go ahead and spread the videos, share the videos and everything else, you have my blessings. I don't care. I want you guys to spread my videos out as much as you can, because you know, obviously the more people that talk about it, the more people that share the videos, well then, the more people know about it, the more people to tune in, watch the series, subscribe, join, and everything else. So I mean, you know, saying I don't care, I do care, but I'm just doing this for the, the heck of it. I just want to put videos out there to you guys. So, I thank you guys for one year, I really do. I thank you for one year. Now, um, Again, if you guys have any constructive criticism, uh, leave a comment down below or reach me out on Twitter and my Facebook group. Links are always in every description of every video. And, you know, all I can say is, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I do appreciate you guys. I've met a lot of people in this last year, um, you know, through a, a few special mentions. I'll give to The Bird. Uh, I'll give shouts to JSpex. Um, I'll give shouts to Cloud. I'll give shouts to... Um, the, uh, what's his name? Oh, God damn, Phantom Base. Sorry, Phantom. I, I know he just had a kid, uh, just a month or so ago, so congratulations to you. And I hope, uh, she's doing well. Uh, beautiful daughter. I've seen some pictures on his Twitter. Um, but I want to thank a lot of, um, the inspirations I've had from other YouTube personalities. So, I'll definitely say a big thank you to King Nappy. Now, I know you guys know I'm probably his biggest fanboy. I don't care. You know, he's dramatic, he's crazy, man, he swears, fuck, I'm the same. Like, I, a lot of the things I do kind of derives from what I've seen from him, even like A-Drive. A-Drive does a lot of, you know, battling and everything else. He does a few less plays here and there, but you know what? I appreciate those two in particular because I get most of my inspiration to doing my videos from them. And I watch a handful of other YouTubers and I get a bit here and there, but you learn from other YouTubers. I mean... You have to try to invent your own style. You can't be too like someone else. Otherwise, you're just going to be claimed a ripoff of that person. So, I try to be as unique as I can. You know, me being Australian, I thought I would run with that. You know, G-Day, people, you know. And I just ran with that. And you know what? I've met a lot of people, and they love the fact that I'm just embracing the Australian heritage. And I, I'm all for it. I mean, I'm also Maltese as well. But, you know, I don't know a lot of Maltese terms. But, you know... Uh, just something I've just been thinking about and everything else, you know, just, you know, but if you have any uh, queries or any questions that you want to ask me after this special has been posted, uh, leave a comment down below and I will definitely answer you because I like to talk to you guys. Um, oh, and fun fact, um, next January I am going to Japan. Kawaii! So I'm disgusted I'm going to be going to Japan. I'm going to go with uh, a few mates of mine that I know and it should be exciting because I've never, I don't, I've only ever travelled to New Zealand. So a, a trip down to Japan would be amazing. Now, I don't know if I'm going to vlog that or not, but I mean, I'll try to do my best with that one. But man, Japan's going to be amazing. I just know it's going to be amazing and I can only imagine what stuff we could do there. So again, I thank you guys for watching this one year special. Here's to seeing you guys in year two. Hopefully we'll meet some, uh, uh, some goals by year two. So as far as year two, I would probably say, hopefully we're breaking the 1000 subscriber mark. That'd be nice. And uh, maybe if we just get a bit more sense, fans and a bit more Twitch streams and more battles and everything else of the channel, just continues to grow because that's how I want this channel to do, just continue to grow and be a big, prospering, positive ball of energy. Just to cheer up uh, people, you know, when they just want their Pokemon fix, you know, so that's what I'm here for. 
So thanks for watching you guys, and until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.